Hey, what's going on, Swifters? It's Chimis of here, and welcome back to another Minecraft Snapshot. This week we have Minecraft Snapshot 14W05A, and today I'm going to be showing you guys what this snapshot adds into Minecraft, and the next piece of the puzzle in terms of what is going to be in Minecraft 1.8. So, we've got some new things to talk about this week, the first thing being a brand new game mode called Spectator Mode. So, to get to Spectator Mode, you just type uh, slash, you can do uh, Spectator, uh, or sorry, Game Mode, like this, and then you can do slash SP, you can do slash three, or you can do slash spectator. And uh, either one of those works in putting you in spectator mode. Now in spectator mode, this is sort of designed for situations in which it's maybe you know more unwanted that a player would interact with the world, sort of maybe for a custom app or something like that. Uh, you can look at your inventory, but you can't actually you know access it, it won't let me even grab, uh, grab these any of these blocks or anything. Um, you can fly around and it sort of puts you in no clip mode, which means you can go through blocks um, You can go through mobs you can go through everything and uh, you don't have to worry about you know uh, Getting stopped like you would in creative mode, so uh, You can even stay inside this wall if you want so basically what this allows you to do is uh, it says here on the wiki page that your player can move through any, any entity or block without interfering uh, which is obviously no clip. Uh, you can't use items, you can't place blocks, you can't destroy blocks, and you can't interact with blocks in any way. Uh, you can view the inventories, but you can't modify them. You cannot be seen by anybody uh, except for other spectators, and it does not affect mobs, uh, mob spawning and is not noticed by mobs. Now, if you press F5, you'll notice that really all that remains of me at this point is sort of this little transparent head, uh, my little transparent face here. Uh, and that's pretty much it, and only other spectators would be able to see me if they were in spectator mode. Now, one cool thing you can do in spectator mode is if you come over to, to uh, mo oh, we got a bunch of bats in here, <laughs> that's kind of weird. So I trapped some mobs here, I've got a creeper and a spider, and if you left click on a mob, uh, or a player, it will take its camera, basically, it'll show you what they see. So this is a really cool way for um, you know maybe like survival games or something. If you want if you want to watch somebody, you, you click on them and you now have access to their camera mode. You can see exactly what they see, but you can't move it at all. Uh, the reason I chose the creeper and the spider here is if I left click on them, the creeper it sort of as soon as you click on its vision, it enacts this shader. Um, it's the creeper dot uh, json file basically. It's the, one of the shader files. And the creeper currently is not, he's not looking around, so there's nothing going on here. The video is not frozen or anything. But to get out of this, you basically just press left shift, and that lets you get out of that mode. Now, uh, the spider, the spider has its own vision. Um, the spider is sort of looking around here, and this is what the spider vision looks like. It's kind of cool. So, uh, yeah, I don't know, it's kind of kind of creepy, but it's got the whole like eight eyes thing kind of going on there. It's kind of weird. Uh, and you just press left shift to get out of that. And then the last one, is an Enderman, uh, but I'm gonna have to go back to, uh, let's see, I'm gonna have to go back to this mode, to creative, to get this egg, so he would be teleporting away, so let me do this, let's go to spectator, and if I click on him, you can see that this is what the Enderman sees here, it's kinda cool, so he just sort of teleports around and does his thing, but uh, I don't wanna have him take me like, you know, way far away or something like that. So, uh, that is spectator mode, uh, the only other things I want to talk about is you can't take damage in spectator mode, you can't take fall damage. Um, supposedly the scroll wheel increases slash decreases the flying speed, um, but I haven't found that to work yet today. It, they've said that it's still not 100% finished, so they're still working on this. Uh, but the player is always flying, standing is not possible in spectator mode, and invisible players and mobs are visible, but they're translucent. So if I were to go ahead and, let's see here, if I were to go back to this uh, back to creative mode and grab like a potion of invisibility or something. Let's see, where is that? Right here. Yeah, let's do the, the lower one. If I were to throw this on the creeper uh, and then go to spectator mode, you can see that now I can actually see the creeper. He's translucent, but uh, it's sort of indicating to me that he is actually invisible. So that is spectator mode. Um, all right, so on to the next thing which is a brand new block that we have over here, and this is called the barrier block. Now the barrier block, you can see it's right here, you can see the little bit of shading around the, the block there. You can't actually see it, and it's only obtained through a, a command, a console command. So in order to get this, you have to type in, let's go back to it here, right here, slash give at P, or at the player, uh, and then barrier. Hit that and you get the barrier block here. Now the barrier block, it cannot be broken unless you're in creative mode, so it has the, sort of the same properties as bedrock in that regard. Uh, when you do break it, 
it gives off a little particle animation very similar to uh, lava. But uh, one cool thing about this is that the barrier blocks can actually, um, well, you can place blocks on top of them, and they also pass redstone signals through them. So if I go ahead and flip on this switch, the redstone signal will flow through the block and turn off the redstone torch. So there you go. Um, so yeah, that is the new barrier blocks. Um, another thing that they added was a difference to copying books. So <laughs> here, as akin to Harry Potter, I made Tom Riddle's diary. If you read it, I am Lord Voldemort. So basically, you can copy books. Uh, I think you could do could do that before, but uh, now they have sort of a little tooltip saying that is it was a copied book or a copy of a copy. So to copy Tom Riddle's diary, I'm going to go ahead and put that book there. Put this book and quill here, and it's going to give me Tom Riddle's diary by Chimney Swift, and this says copy of original. Um, this is the original here, and if I want to go ahead and copy this copy again, I can do that. It says here, copy of a copy. And uh, finally, the uh, last part is that you can't actually do a copy of a copy of a copy. So you can't copy it multiple times. Therefore, this one right here, uh, we're not going to get one out of that. So you can really only copy a book. Um, uh, you can copy the copy once, basically. You can't go, the Inception doesn't go any deeper, people, all right? <laughs> you can copy this book as many times as you want, obviously. But if you wanted to continue to copy the copy, you can do that. You just can't copy the copy of a copy. Holy crap. This is like some weird brainwave crap. <laughs> All right, guys. So the last thing we have here is an update to the activator rails. So the activator rails previously were used for, um, well, a number of things. But most notably, you could put mine, uh, TNT in a minecart, have it go across an activator rail. It would activate and then explode. One thing that they've added now is that the activator rails uh, have a new little animation. As you can see there, when the uh, cart goes over those activator rails, it sort of jiggles like that. Kind of in the same animation that you get when you're hitting the, uh, the minecart in uh, survival mode. And what this does is that actually now it um, knocks players and entities loose out of the uh, minecart. So if I go ahead and get in this and I ride in this, You'll notice that as soon as I hit the activator rails, it pops me out of the minecart. Um, so to show you guys this, I'm going to add um, my favorite test subject. And it's going to be a little sheep. So let me grab a sheep. And No, that's a wolf. Uh, no, that's a gas. There we go. There's a sheep. Um, all right. So let me go ahead and put the sheep in there. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. No, you're not cooperating. <laughs> this may take a second here, but um, it should hopefully we should be able to see this a little bit easier. Um, nope, no, come on, buddy. There you go. Okay, cool. Uh, we should be able to see this animation a little bit easier now. So there you go. You can see the the cart sort of jiggle there, and then the sheep just sort of, or the sheep, the sheep, the sheep just sort of plopped out. Um, so yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for uh, this snapshot. Just kind of some minor things, um, nothing huge other than the new game mode. But uh, yeah, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this. If anything else gets discovered or whatever, you know, later today, I'll make sure to include that down in the description below. But uh, yeah, guys, 1.8 is shaping up to be kind of a lot of fun. Uh, it should be really cool for map makers and things like that. But uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that like button down below. Also, oh, also, I have to mention this. If you guys have not seen the most adorable Super Bowl ad I have ever seen in my life, uh, the Super Bowl obviously hasn't aired yet or, you know, hasn't been played yet. It's coming up. But uh, there's a new Budweiser commercial out. Uh, click the link down below if you guys want to check it out. It'll uh, take you to the, the video and um, it'll be, it's like 60 seconds of your day. And I guarantee you it'll make you happy. It'll make you feel really good about life. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. I've been watching it like all morning and now I, I, I want a puppy. So, uh, <laughs> but anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Also I have a Skyrim video coming up later today. Don't miss it. It's going to be sick. But uh, yeah, guys, I'll talk to you later. Peace.